Good, good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful morning here in Istanbul. My name is Kendi. Welcome to Verbling.com. Uh, today's class will be about speaking. This will be a speaking class, so don't be shy. Um, also, you don't need a pen and paper for this class. So you can put those down. Right now, the first few moments to enter this class will be for the users that have reservations or for premium users. Uh, if you are a premium user, you get access to unlimited reservations. Classes are starting to fill up really quickly nowadays. Uh, so you can check that out. Or if you want to just try and see what it's all about, you can get yourself some free reservations. Go to verbling.com and click on the Get Reservations link. You can do a couple easy things to get yourself some free reservations. Use those, see if you like them. Uh, it's all good. To join the class, wait until you see the green button and says join class in the upper right hand corner of the verbling.com video. When you join the class, we will be redirected to a Google Hangout. We will have class in the Google Hangout, uh, not through verbling.com. There's a little bit of a delay from when the video is recorded and then streams through verbling.com, and that creates an echo. So once you're in the verbling class on the Google Hangout, close or mute the verbling.com page or tab that you have open. This creates an echo and it's pretty disruptive to the class. Um, today, if you have any questions, feel free to I don't know, speak up, ask me, or if you are not in the class, you can of course participate through the chat box, which is really cool. So you can just be watching the video on verbling.com and you can still be a part of this class by typing into the box and I will be reading it throughout the class and I will definitely be responding to you. Um, we have some people filing in now. Welcome, Servet. How are you? Welcome, Miss Candy. I'm fine. Just Thank you very much. Candy. Thank you. But just call me Candy. Okay. How are you today? I'm very good. You? How are you this morning? Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we got Mikhail. Welcome back. Hey, I'm. I'm glad to see you again. Hi, everybody. Good. Nice to see you again. Cool. Thanks for being here. Mon. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. My name is Mon. How are you, Mon? Where are you from? Where are you from, Mon? Can you hear me? Oui. No. Okay, give you a second. Carlos! Hello, Candy. Hello, everyone. Nice to uh, meet you. Nice to I, meet I you again. Be, I wasn't able to hear. Oh, now we got your sound working, Mon. Okay, well, welcome. Thank you for being here. Uh, where are you? Where are you from, Mon? Yes, no? Uh, what's your name, by the way? Kendi. My name is Kendi. I will type it. Where are you from? Kendi. Yes. Okay. Which country are you from, Sorry, Mon? What? Where are you from? Now, I don't know if you can hear me. But let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, Carlos, how are you this morning? I'm pretty fine. Where are you from? Thank you. Good. And good. you? I'm great. Uh, thanks for being here, everyone. Carlos is a Spanish teacher on Verbling. And yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, so uh, I invite you to my classes. If you want, you are, you will be very welcome. 
She is an excellent Spanish teacher, so if you guys want to learn or practice your Spanish, actually all of our Spanish teachers are fantastic, but Carlos, I was so happy to see you teaching. It was I was so surprised. Yes, yeah, you were in a, you were for in a surprise. Okay, yes, <laughs> because you don't know, you didn't know. Uh, I am I was a te I were a teacher. So yes, I am I teach Spanish. So and I came I, I came across with Candy uh, in my class in a surprise, and because she's my teacher, our teachers, and she's also um, learning Spanish. Wow. Yeah. I, I have yeah. to I have to say she has a good level of Spanish. <laughs> Thank you. I many years ago I used to be a Spanish teacher, but I haven't used it in so many years. I haven't so I need practice. Yes, you uh, need definitely. Yeah. So anyway, it's so cool. It's just so cool because you were in my classes and then I was just in your classes. Yes. Really oh, I, I wait you for, for coming classes. I, I, I will be waiting for you. In for oh, coming classes. I will be in them. I will be there. Cool. Thank you so much for being here. Let's welcome Anto Antonina. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm pretty fine, thank you. Good. Where are you from? I'm from Russia. And uh, I must say that I missed Verbling very much because I was um, at a hospital for a week. What, what oh, happened no. to you? Yes. And uh, are you okay now? Yes, I'm totally fine. And uh, I was really bored. No. Oh, no, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. And talk to people. I'm really happy. And Somebody. Somebody couldn't bring you a laptop so you could go on Verbling from your hospital bed? I tried, but uh, the connection wasn't very good, so I couldn't do it. Yeah. So um, I'm very excited about that. And Tonina, are okay. And uh, what about now? Are you okay? Yes, now I'm totally fine. Thank you. Uh, wow, our Verbling good, students good are that. so good. dedicated. They are in the hospital <laughs> bed trying to get on Verbling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Verbling and is where addictive. from? It's devotion. Antonina, you, has devo you have devotion of Verbling. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's, that's really cool. I'm so sorry to hear that you were in the hospital, uh, but I'm really glad that you're back and you are better and you are here with us. That's wonderful. We don't know. Maybe that's why she is in the hospital. She is receiving <laughs> treatment because of this addiction. <laughs> yes, that happens. Do you? Okay, this is off topic. Do you guys know about the story of the man who was playing video games for so long he could not get off the computer and he didn't eat and he didn't sleep and he he died from just being on the computer. Oh dear. Oh. Straight. Yeah. Have you heard this story? No. Well, I heard it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so, you know, everything is good with balance. I'm here to say, don't forget to eat and don't forget to sleep. Okay. okay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Otherwise, I may be your addiction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, totally. Okay, Ali, welcome to the class. How are you? Me? Yes. Uh, hello everyone, uh, nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Ali Riza, not Ali. Uh, I'm Trabzon, I'm at Trabzon. Okay, uh, yeah, here from? in Turkey. Yeah. Um, uh, I miss English speaking, speaking English, because uh, last English lessons, my uh, English lesson was uh, on summer, so I miss. I was in summer. Okay, and yeah, now, from. Right. he is from Turkey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Mon, where are you from? Oh, this question just doesn't work when I ask you for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what it is. All right, let's move on. Abdullah. Hi. Hi. How welcome to the class. Thank you. How are How you doing? Great, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Wonderful. Where are you from? Um, I live in Germany. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, thanks for being here. 
And we have young Caesar. <laughs> Welcome. Yes. How are Hi, you? Candy. Hi. Good, good. Good. Welcome to the class. Welcome back. It's nice to see you. And Omar? I'm from Egypt. You're from Egypt. You're from How are Egypt. Cool. Thank you for being here. How are you today? Fine. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about this girl. She's not a little girl anymore, but her story is... Yes, sir, but I saw it. Thank you so much. Uh, this story is about a girl when she was little, and it is one of my favorite stories. She is she's like a hero to me, and she is so no. inspiring. Mon, hi. Something is going on with your sound. I don't know what's going on. Can you hear us? Maybe you have a serious delay with me because you were listening to Antonina perfectly earlier. Yeah. Just refresh your page sometime. It works. I don't want to refresh mine because the whole class will no. just get restarted. So, I don't no. know. Just the student. Just okay. refresh. All right. Okay, cool. So, this little girl, her name is Tipi de Grey. Has anyone ever heard of her? Tipi. We say Tipi, but it's spelled like this. I wrote it. It's spelled like Tippy, but you say Tipi. Tipi de Grey. And the last E has a tilde over it. Great. Her parents were French. Has anyone ever heard of her? No. I no. No. I heard Hello? something. This tippy first tip. Time. Like gun. You know, tippy tip gun. <laughs> no. I don't know. Okay. But <laughs> it's a newspaper. Newspaper. A newspaper. Oh, not gun. Gum, gum. Sorry, gum. Oh no, I don't know. Uh, well, TP, I think I posted the link um, on the class description. Did you guys get the link for TP? If not, I will post it again in the chat. Yeah, that would be nice <laughs> because <laughs> I clo I closed it. That, that's the reason. <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. Okay. We are learning. Let's close verbaling.com. We are learning very well. Okay, so here's the link to a news article. There are many, many articles and photos of this girl. She has a book out. The book is fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead. Do you guys all have the link? Oh, uh, I think no. there's something no. wrong with the link because there is no article. There's yeah. something wrong with the link, really? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, well, huh. Let me see. We, we have just the title, but not the article. <laughs> yes. Hmm. <laughs> strange. Okay. What? That is strange. Let me try to get it up here for you guys. Maybe. Okay. Okay. I'm going to try to. Yeah, that is weird how that happens. Hmm? Okay, I'm going to get it for you guys. But this girl, her par she is French. And her parents, okay, her parents were from France. Oh, here we go. And they were photographers of wildlife. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, do you guys know what wildlife is? Yes, yeah. yes. In the jungle, for example. Yeah. yeah, okay. So, yeah, they were taking pictures. They were living in Namibia, which is a country in Africa. And mm -hmm. they were living there taking photos of the animals. And they had a baby named Tipi. She was born there. And Tipi was raised for 10 years um, in this village in Africa. And her friends became the animals that lived there. And it's a very oh. magical and wonderful and inspiring story about this girl and her very strong and intimate connection with these animals. Do you guys know what the word intimate means? Very close rela uh, relation, maybe? Exactly. Yeah. And this girl, this girl, her friends, her real friends, if you were to ask her, who are your friends, she would say Abu, the elephant. And <laughs> uh, yeah. no, really, like these were her friends, and she had close relations with them. And um, she, her life 
up until she was 10 years old was very cool. This is just some background on her. Uh, she was basically, it was her and her parents that lived in this village and just the animals and the local people and the, she was able to participate in the local traditional dances and ceremonies, um, ceremonies that uh, do not allow photography. So uh, okay. you don't have a lot of physical evidence of this, but mm -hmm. she wrote a book about her time in Africa. And she wrote when she was young. She, when she was 10, she moved back to France. So mm -hmm. imagine this. She grows up in an African village, and the this elephant is her brother, and then she goes and moves to France. Omar, I'm going to mute you for a second. There's some noise coming over from you. So she moves to France, and she's 11, and imagine that transition. It's crazy, right? So uh, she wrote this book, and her... Her writing as an 11-year-old is just very simple but so mm -hmm. beautiful, uh, what she notices about humanity. And anyway, I wanted to share with you guys. So does everyone have this link up now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen, and we'll go through this article together with the pictures. Okay, can you guys see it? Yep. Tippi mm -hmm. de Grey, the real-life Mowgli. Who's Mowgli? Uh, yes, Mowgli's. Uh, it's um, you know he's the uh, fictional character of the Jungle Book. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you guys, if you have, if you are not talking, could you please just voluntarily mute your microphones because if the sound is going in the background, it verbally will pick it up. All right, so. And he uh, was born and grew up in the jungle like Tippi. Yeah, yeah, but he was a fictional character. Yeah. This is in real. real life. Yeah. So, Carlos, can, who has music going? Yes. <laughs> no, it's not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not mine. Ah, the picture. Oh, sorry. Okay. No, I don't know who had the music going. Yeah, Carlos, can you hear? Let me share my screen. Uh, Yes. Oh. Your share screen. What? Your, um, in the right, the Telegraph Co. UK is. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. But it's only the headline. It's not the history. So. Can you see what I have up on my screen? Uh, I can see the Mowgli and the tiger, and yeah. more images. More images. Only mm -hmm. images, not text. Oh, can you read the text now at the bottom? Where is the? Um, the test, French girl. Ah, I'm sorry. That's okay. French girl is real Mowgli. Is the test. And then at the bottom, her <laughs> yes, brother. Yes, yes, but okay. My connection, if with Google, how Google Hangouts is very slow, so I am loading. Ah. The, so, okay. So no. do do you want me to read? No. No problem. Okay. Who else? Can anyone else see? What I have down here, her brother. Oh, okay, yeah. I got it. Her brother to was honest, an elephant. Her best it. friend, a leopard. This is it? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I got it. Go ahead. Uh, read me? Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, her brother was an elephant. Her best friend, a leopard, and her playground, the American bush. Now, bush. Bush. And bush. Now, Tippy's new book, Tippy. My book of Africa showcases the magical images that have led to comparisons with Rudyard Kipling's young hero in the Jungle Book book. Oh my god, yeah, I don't know where you're reading. <laughs> that's exactly right, but that's not what I have here. Let uh, me... so I, I have this test, I don't know where it is. No, don't be sorry. Um, I don't know what's going on, this is so weird. Let me post the link again, exactly. I did it in the I, chat I... box. Yes, I, I um wait a minute. Wait a yeah, second. but okay. you okay? This is this is the link I'm going to paste. Okay. Can you see? This is the the, the link I have. I, I have been reading. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on exactly. No. This is so weird. Yeah, I don't know either. 
Can you guys see when I share my screen? Can you see what I have up here? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, her brother. That was good. Thank you, Carlos. Yeah, her brother was ah, an elephant. Okay, so I, I click on the right. French girl is related articles. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ron, I got to mute you. I'm sorry for that. No, it's okay. Music. Okay, go ahead. So, yeah, her playground, the African bush, Tippy de Grey, has been labeled the real life Mowgli. Yep. Um, okay, have you guys heard this term before, the African bush? Yeah. Yeah, what does it mean? No. The jungle, the, the, the trees of the, no, the, the landscape of Africa. Yeah, exactly. The landscape. Uh, mm -hmm. Small trees. Small trees. Sorry, place? what? Small trees. Small what? Small trees. Tree. Small trees. Tree. Trees. Tree. Oh, Small a tree. bush. Yeah, literally, a bush is a is a smaller plant. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But when you talk about the African bush, it's just the wide open landscape of Africa. Um, so might not necessarily be the jungle. It's not, you know, full of trees, maybe not, but just the Africa, places in Africa just have wide open spaces where villages are and animals roam. So this is what we t are talking about um, when you hear the African bush. Not a city, right? It's like the suburb, suburbs of Africa the, where the villages are, mm -hmm. okay? All right. Uh, good. Okay. So that's her playground. Do you guys know this word playground? No. It plays where you play. Playground is yes. where, where, where children play in the school. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So it's where you run around and play. And that was her playground. I mean, look at this picture. Look how close she like is to field? this leopard. Field? Yeah, like a field. Yeah. Good picture. Okay, and also her parents, remember, they were photographers, and they got amazing pictures of her. So let's go to the next one. All right. Okay. So here we are. Mm -hmm. um, can we get Mikhail? Can you read now TP's new book? Mikhail, are you still there? Hmm? I think he's uh, he's yes. gone. Gone. Oh, no. Yes. Omar, okay. Omar, can you read for but us? But I am. But I am engaged for another. What? Fine. Oh, Omar, how old are you? Nine. Nine. You are nine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. Welcome. Thank you for being here. I'm oh, glad you are practicing your English. <laughs> oh, sweet. That is so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Omar, look. Yes. Can, you, can you see this picture? Yes. What do you think? This is Tipi. She is a French girl, but she was living when she was your age. These were her friends. This was her life. What do you think? Uh. <laughs> Is that cool? No. Is that cool? No? Ay, ay, ay. Do you like this, Omar? No, no. No? Why not? Why not? I don't know. <laughs> okay, no problem. Um, okay, who can somebody read the bottom part? Uh, may I? Please, yeah. Okay. Um, now, Tippy's new book, uh, Tippy, my book of Africa, showcases the magical images that have led to comparisons with 
uh, Rudyard Kipling's Young Hero in the Jungle Book. Good. Okay, yeah, good. Now her new book, my TP, my book of Africa, showcases. What is this word? Showcases. Um, means, uh, hmm. I don't know really. <laughs> to show something maybe, I don't know, or to, yes. repre to represent. Oh. Exactly, to show something, to represent something in a very special way, mm -hmm. right? Like that is the main focus, these images, right? It's a mm -hmm. book, but it showcases, It's it, the main focus of this book are these images, the pictures, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So it's a special place to go and look at these pictures because they are special pictures. Exactly. Like, for example, a synonym would be it highlights. This book highlights the magical images. Okay. Okay. When, like when you go to a museum, museums showcase artwork, right? It's a special place to go see artwork. Yeah. It's possible to be features also to feature. Featuring, yes, exactly. Good word. Totally. Okay. Magical images that have led to. Have we heard this before? <laughs> Um, all right, I'm sorry, Omar. I gotta mute you. Okay. All right, let's go back. Uh, okay, these images that have led to comparisons. What does this mean, right? Showcases the magical images that have led to comparisons. It means that um, it uh, brought to comparisons or. Right, okay, exactly. Which came first, the book or the comparisons? I think... Uh, uh, the book. The yeah. book? The book? Yeah. Yeah. The book came first, and then it led to... Uh, it resulted in... Right? Led to or resulted in comparisons. Right? With his... Rudyard Kipling is the author of the Jungle, Jungle Book. Mm -hmm. And now they compare her with Mowgli. Okay, exactly. Okay, let's go to the next one. Right? How cool is this? Right? I mean, who gets the chance to do this? I, I uh, used to live in Kenya, and um, I mean, it was not an experience like this. But I always wish I could have this kind of experience. This is just so cool to me. I don't know. Uh, did you like it? Yes, I loved it. It was in the bush, too, for sure. It was not in a city. But it was not like this. Uh, there were not elephants roaming around in my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Just a lot, of, a lot of goats and a lot of cows, but no elephants. <laughs> okay, uh, here we go. Can somebody else... I don't have the hangout up, so somebody that hasn't read, can we get somebody new to read this bottom part? Let's go. Okay, that's fine. I'll just choose you. I choose Ali Riza. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. Uh, born in Pinthog, Namibia in 1990. Uh, 1990. Benjamin Ocante Degree lived with her French friends, lived like photographers Sylvie Roberts and Alan Degree. The three of them traveled extensively. Of Africa and uh, on a unique, unique and incredible adventure. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, she was born in Namibia in 1990. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Silence. That's okay. No problem. <laughs> uh, she lived there with her French parents, wildlife photographers Sylvie Robert and Alain Degre. The three of them traveled extensively. What, is what extensively? does it mean, extensively? Um, Lee. Maybe. Lee. Extensively. They traveled often. extensively. I think often. they traveled to all Africa, maybe. They saw lots of places in Africa. Yes. Okay, exactly. Anyone else? Can you think of a different word for extensively? I don't know what does it mean, to be honest. Often. Often. So, so mm -hmm. I can't tell you another match to it. That's okay. Yeah, uh, somebody said often. Um, 
okay, that, that could work too. Extensively is all over, right? They traveled all over through Africa. They went here, they went there, and they went over there and over, over there, right? They just went everywhere, okay? Wow. And they did it a lot. Wow. So, right? They traveled extensively throughout. You can study something extensively, right? All of you are studying English extensively because you spend so much time on verbling, yes? <laughs> <laughs> okay, through Africa on a unique. What is unique? Unique means that is um, something uh, one not, kind. No, you can't find it uh, everywhere. You can't yeah. find. Yeah, just good. in one place. No problem, Carlos. Okay, yeah, unique is one. I'm typing in the box. One of a kind. That's another way to say it means something is very special or different um, and also it has a positive connotation right you can say something that's weird or strange because it's different and maybe if you say strange it's different in a bad way but if you say unique it's different very different and also in a good way for example, all of you are very strange. No, I'm just kidding. All of you are very unique. <laughs> okay? Everyone is unique, right? Different in a good way. All right, cool. Um, and incredible adventure. Yes, unique. Why is this experience unique for her? Why is this a unique experience? Uh, maybe she, it will never happen to her if she if she uh, gro grows up. Maybe she ne she never been in Africa before. So uh, so un yeah. yes, unusual, unusual. Unusual, yeah. but unusual kind of sounds maybe not bad, but unique also just sounds very nice, very pleasant. This is a unique experience because how many people grow up? in Africa with animals as their best friends? How many mm, people? Not many. Yeah, almost no one. <laughs> yeah, right? Maybe, no, maybe no. Africans. Okay, if, even... Maybe the African one, maybe. Well, okay, the th yeah, even Africans though, they are not living next to wild animals. And I can tell you this, uh, because what? Uh, elephant, they're dangerous animals. The people don't live with um, the wild animals. What was very special about Tipi's experience is that her parents went looking for animals to photograph them and also there was this home on where they lived mostly and it was almost like a rehabilitation center for animals. So for example the, her best friend the elephant used to work in a circus so he was used to being around people um, and someone maybe people want to kill the animals um, but this house saved them so she was able to interact I remember when I was in Kenya people would ask me oh do you just see giraffes walking everywhere and <laughs> no they're not with the people because it's dangerous so this is a very unique experience yeah for anyone Wow, oh, she's so cute. Right? So cute. Okay, there's tons of amazing pictures. Let's go to the next one. Um, oh, I love this, right? Antonina, can you read for us? Yes, Dangerous. for a moment. She showed an unusual bond between man and beast. As Sylvie, Tippi's mother, explains. She was in the mindset of these animals. She believed the animals were her size and her friends. She was using her imagination to live in these different conditions. Good, thank you. Excellent reading. Does anyone have any words that they don't understand? Well, I'm not sh exactly sure what does mindset means. Yes. Well, I've heard it, but I'm not sure. Good question. Okay, she was to in the focus, mindset. To focus on something. I think. Uh, yeah, she maybe okay. Focus. When you are in the mindset of someone, you are thinking like them. Mm. Okay. So she is in the mindset of these animals 
she thinks like the animals. She thinks in the same way. Okay? Maybe she, uh, you know, maybe she understands them. She, have you heard this saying in English, put yourself in, in, in someone else's shoes? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay, good. It's the same thing, but put yourself in someone else's brain. Second bit, second bit. It's weird. It sounds weird, isn't it? Huh? I think it sounds weird. Sounds weird? Yes, to say put yourself in someone's brain. I, yeah, we don't say put yourself in someone's brain, but that's to explain in the mindset of. Okay, for example, I am in the mindset of my students. I am thinking like an English language learner. I'm thinking, hmm, what might be a difficult word to understand? If I were learning English, I would think mindset is a difficult word. I am thinking like you. I am in the mindset of you. Do you understand? Yep. Yes. 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 Yeah, so she is in the mindset of these animals. She is <clears throat> thinking like them in the same way. Okay, she believed they were her size and her friends. Okay, good. It is dangerous not to sit next to them. Yeah, it can be dangerous, right? Make I sure mean, they can eat her and... You must make sure they are well fed. If they are hungry, it is dangerous. If they're <laughs> no. not hungry, no problem. Uh, yeah. I see someone new to... I see a couple new people. Tara, welcome. Welcome. How are you? Uh, fine, I'm fine. Great. Where are you from? Uh, Pakistan. Pakistan. Cool. Thanks for being here. And Shahir, welcome to the class. Thank you. How are you? Where are you from? Uh, I am from Pakistan. Oh, awesome. Thanks for being here, you guys. Who else? Do I have any other new people? No, I do not. Okay, so let's continue. Let's continue. Next picture. Okay, check it out. Who wants oh. to do this? Oh. Cool, yeah? Does anyone think this is cool or not cool? I like it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's have Abdullah. Can you read the bottom part here? Yeah. Uh, using her innocence and imagination, the young Mowgli befriended one of the giants or giants of the animal kingdom, Abu the African Elephant. Yes. Using her innocence and imagination, the young Mowgli befriended one of the giants of the animal kingdom, Abu, the African elephant. Good. What is, uh, what is innocent? Thank you. That was an excellent reading. What is innocent? Um, innocence means um, that you don't have um, any bad things or bad thoughts, maybe. Mm. Innocent, yeah, you are, yeah, you cannot you uh, are so commit, commit a crime or something like that. Oh, no, yes. no. Harmless. Go ahead. You don't like to hurt people. <laughs> Possibly. Okay, what else? Anyone else? Harmless. Harmless? Harmless? Yeah, yeah you can't not harm someone, yeah. Okay. Oh. Also, uh, all right. Uh, was that? I think that was from Omer, right? Do that. Um, okay. A child. Uh, a child is usually innocent. Why? Innocent refers to lack of experience. Sometimes mm -hmm. you are innocent. You you don't know you know things, right? Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so not a lot of experience, um, and also unknowing in a lot of ways, unknowing, not knowing a lot of things maybe, and also, yeah, she doesn't want to harm anyone, she's just living, right? Okay, good. Innocence and imagination. We know what imagination is? No. Yes. No. Yes. Who said yes? Can you explain imagination? I said yes. <clears throat> Well, imagination means that um, she can um, 
create things in her mind, like she can uh, look um, at something simple and think about it as something else. Like crazy? No. no. Uh, well, no, no, no. It's like um, young girls when they play with uh, you know, dolls, they imagine that they are, these are real people and then they play with real people. Uh, a child can have uh, some a teddy bear, uh, some toy, and believe that uh, this is um, a real um, kitten or a real dog. Due to it, um, his or her imagination. It means that you have pictures in your in your mind, in your brain. You uh, artificial. Mm -hmm. who, Sorry. Who, so who explained? Was that was that you, Antonina? Yes. That was a great definition. Thank you. Yeah, that was really good. Uh, yeah, you can imagine. You can think of things in your brain. Okay, Omar, I'm sorry, I have to mute you. Okay, uh, yeah, you, you use your brain to make images, okay? And not in a crazy way, but like in a way that children do, right? They pretend that something is something else, exactly. It is daytime dream. Daydream. <laughs> daytime dream, yeah. Daydream, yeah, we say daydream or daydreaming as a, a verb, you know. Uh, exactly. Um, so, kind of like a daydream, but basically, um, when you feel inspired, artists, they have a great imagination because they see something in their head and then they produce it, right? Um, okay, befriended. What do you uh, guys think this means? Uh, to make friendship with other people. Exactly. Okay. The verb to become friends with. Okay. Yep. Yep. Any other words you don't understand? Okay. Let's move on. <clears throat> um, okay. Who has not read yet and would like to? Okay. I can read. Omar, okay, please. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> can you can you please read, Omar? But I can't see the picture. I can't see the words. Can you see them now? Can you see my picture? Click on my picture in the Hangout. Click on Kendi, and then you should see it. Can you see it's highlighted in blue? Yeah, I, I see, but I don't see the words. You don't see the words. And let me make it bigger. Can you see it now? Yes. Okay, go ahead. She had no fears. Said stilly. She mm -hmm. did not raise. She was not the same size as up the elephant. She to it uh, would like into its eyes and speak to him. Oh, it was excellent yeah. reading. Good job. Great. Yay. That was wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. Good. She had no fear. What is fear? What is fear? Uh, fear is an emotion uh, people feel when they are scared of something. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. So, uh, Omar, are you there? Look at her. Look how close. She is so close to an elephant. Is this scary? No. No? Why not? Are, um, elephants, no. are elephants scary? No. No, they're friendly, right? Okay. Yeah, the, this is the magic of children, you guys. Okay? She did not realize she was the same size. What is realize? Realize means to, uh, like, understand something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Maybe, uh, to, to, to know, to know the differences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. She didn't understand, okay? 
you just thought, hey, this is my friend, you know, the elephant. <laughs> it's just, well, it's like, Abu, he's coming to eat dinner with us. Is that okay with you guys? <laughs> yeah, there's a really beautiful picture of her. If you guys Google her, and she is hugging his trunk. She is literally, she has her body wrapped around his trunk. I think it's on oh, the same day. Oh, it's so cool. Please. Yeah. Omar, do you want to go and be with an elephant? Okay. Do, yeah, okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Elephants are so cool. Okay. <laughs> let's go to the next picture. Oh, look at this picture. I love this one. Do you know what animal this is? Uh, oh, uh, something with O. Oh, um, yes. O, oh, O, oh, I forgot it. Now I forgot it. It's an ostrich. Uh, ostrich. Ah, okay. Ostrich. Okay. Ostrich. Let me write ostrich. it out for you guys. Ostrich. Okay. Um, ostrich. Okay. Yeah. Ostriches. They run very fast. Okay. Somebody that is has not read Servet. Welcome. I see you. Can you read for us? Yes. Some animals were very taken with Tippy, Linda, and Ostrich would be so afraid of hurting the little girl that proved very difficult to photograph Tippy riding her. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Okay. Some animals were very taken with Tippy. Taken with. What do you guys think this means? Can you can you understand from the context? They liked her. Probably. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. I'm very taken with some, like, I'm very taken with this person, right? I'm very, I like this person, yeah? You feel mm -hmm. very close with mm -hmm. this person. Yeah, Linda and Ostrich would be so afraid of hurting her that it proved difficult to photograph TP riding her. TP, Linda felt very protective. Have you heard about this? Animals... When they are with children, they feel very protective. Like they feel this instinct as a mother, maybe to protect a child, like they would protect their own baby. Have you heard of this? No. 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 I, I don't think it's true. No, you don't think it's true. Has anyone ever heard of any stories about animals and babies? Hmm. A sec. Besides this one? <laughs> <laughs> no. There was a story about um, a child, I don't know when, maybe this year or last year or a long time ago. I just learned about it this year. Uh, a child accidentally was, he was at the zoo and he fell into, um, he fell into the bear area with the bears. Mm -hmm. And was it bears? Yeah, I don't know. And the mama bear protected this little boy. It was a little, it was a child. And the mama bear, like, protected the little boy so much that the animal keepers couldn't rescue the boy because the bear, the mom was protecting him like she was protecting her own children. Oh. <laughs> Maybe she was just saving him for dinner. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, that was mean. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it, it could happen. We, can, we can't know what does animals think. We can't know. It's true, but there is there is this connection. I mean, have do you guys have dogs, or have you ever seen the way puppies act with babies? They're so gentle. Yeah. You yes, know, yeah. there's this connection. It's this innocent connection between children and animals. It's really special. Okay. Uh, okay. What else do we have here? Okay. Somebody can somebody read this last one? Me. Okay. Now, see? yes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Now, I need 80 tape past here, back is tilt and Eden La Spony novel. Um, University? University in Ber Paris, where shall spend two years of cinema, shiny, cinema. shiny, cinema, cinema students at 
I can see now. Lithium. Lithium. Mm -hmm. Can you see? I, I can see. Uh, yeah, now I see. Lithium. Deep. Now I don't see. Uh, now I see. Deep is fact at different jewelry. The next kids. The concrete kind. Kind kids. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh that was bro. amazing. That this is a difficult sentence that yeah. even I have trouble with because there are words that are not in English, and my friend's pronunciation is terrible. Yeah. Um, uh oh, I just clicked on something. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. That was an excellent reading. Um, I like. I like to read, but I like to read very much, but I am fair. You are an excellent reader. You are an excellent reader. That was so cool. Thank you. Yeah. Right. She is. What is TP studying? She is studying what? Uh, cinema. cinema. Study. Studies. Cinema. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yep. 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 And now it says, now she is facing a different jungle, the concrete kind. What does this mean? It means that she has, uh, that she faces the city, the life in city, and not the life in the jungle. Yep. Okay. Exactly. A lot of times we say a city is a concrete jungle. Okay. So that's yeah. the end of the book. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see, let me unshare. Yeah, the, they say that a city is yeah. a concrete jungle because there's concrete everywhere and yeah. uh, buildings. So can you guys, what do you think about her experience? Um, enjoyable, enjoyable and exotic, I think. Uh -huh. What? Yeah, exactly. Do you think yeah. it would be difficult to grow up like this, grow up with the animals in the nature, and Africa is just, it's natural in every way, uh, and then move to Paris when you're 11? Can yeah, you imagine? I think it's difficult to be uh, normal and talk with human, not talk with uh, animals, I think. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else? What else do you guys think? Um, let's hear from Shahir. Have we heard from you? Uh, yes, ma'am. What do you think about her experience? I think she uh, she loves uh, uh, nature's uh, kind of things. And uh, when she moved to the modern city, uh, she, she was surprised. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think it would be so difficult to do that. Um, let me answer a question that I see in the chat. I think Kassem, uh wants to practice speaking, right? Turkish. Or Turkish. Okay. When you this is these are the classes that are offered by Verbling. You can go into classes. Also, if you just create a profile um, and say what language you want to learn, you can find a language partner. And I think it's just a one-on-one -on -one practicing. Mm -hmm. So they're not in the actual classes, but just if you click find partner or get partner, you can find a partner that way to just speak one on one. Because these classes are for group interactions. So I hope that oh. helps. Okay. Um, any last minute questions or comments? Mm. All right. Well, I want to thank you guys for joining my class, Omar. You are so amazing. Rock on, man. I give you a high five. This is a high five right here. Okay. And me, I give you. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> um, you that's so cool. Um, yeah. You see, verbling, verbling is for everyone. From <laughs> it really is. Are, yeah. From it's, 7 to 70s. <laughs> yeah, totally. Well, follow me on Verbling. You can see when my classes are or connect with me on Facebook. I would love to see you. We can share some ideas. Uh, tell me what you guys like about this class. 
what you want to see more of. And also, I encourage you get out there and you know try out some of the other teachers' classes. Everyone's so cool and so much fun. Yes. So, and we are all what unique. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we are all strange, as you said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone, you're all so strange. <laughs> I'm the only normal one. You're strange. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. Come on. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Okay, okay, I'll have a really wonderful day, you guys, and I'll see Me you next too. time. Oh. Thank you. Okay, have a, have a nice day. Okay, bye bye. Thank you so much. Bye, bye guys. Bye.